This episode of Don't Try This at Home may not be suitable for all audiences. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, Hey guys, it's Zach Fellows. I know your first thought. Oh my God, that's what he sounds like. Uh, Spoiler alert, yes it is. Just wanted to provide my thoughts on Chris Benoit and what my current position on him as a fan is. Uh, While I am somewhat bewildered that people can still enjoy his work despite there being something of an asterisk next to his entire career, I guess that's just proof that those people can overlook overlook certain things that I can't, so kudos to you. Uh, Me personally though, I can watch his matches and enjoy them to a certain extent, but there is an inescapable feeling that his actions and uh, how he carried himself serve as a big case of what not to do for prospective wrestlers. Um, Benoit is a precautionary tale in a lot of regards, his concussions, his potential drug use, his seeming inability to take care of himself and adapt from injuries, that's, that's a lot to take into consideration, so in that sense, yes, he does have a legacy, uh, doesn't make it good though, I'm, and I think that's what people should take away from the man himself, the wrestler affected the man and the man affected the wrestler, it's a two-way street, and to... WWE's credit, the wellness policy and knowledge on the treatment concussions have improved, so that's the silver lining. Um, it's just unfortunate that an innocent woman and child died for that to change to be implemented. Either way, all the best guys, um, take care of yourself, and Roman Reigns is the most over person in the company. Yes, I, <laughs> I said it. If you're free to argue against me on Facebook or Twitter, as you mentioned him without propagation, genius. Uh, take care, guys.